We're back here again at the Salvation Show in the Viper Room here in Dundalk. And uh, you're all very welcome. Our guest today is the well-known actor, hairdresser. Raconteur. 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 <laughs> you forgot dry. genius. But genius. And modesty. <laughs> I think I just got there before me, Matt. <laughs> it's the I one and only Mr. Matt Murphy. Matt, you're very welcome. Oh, thanks very much. He's always but, but, taking the best lines. Yeah, I know, but he got in there, you see. But you see, somebody said to me one day, why, do you, why are you always praising yourself? I said... Nobody does it better. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh, Matt, you will. You oh, will. I will. Yeah. You are. Great start. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Matt, you've had a great, a great career in the theatre. You've been lucky, yeah. When, yeah. when, when did it all start for you? Oh, gosh. Gosh, gosh. And I remember... Was, was there many electric lighting? Or was a candlelit fucking no, Well, no. Well, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen coming in from barouches and carriages and in top hat and coat. Jokes. Was it limelight? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, actually, it was with Father Jones, the Redemptorist Musical Society. I went down to do a, a show called Good Night Vienna, and it was his last show. Not because I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> did he know I still it was his last show? Oh, he did, yeah. I still oh, remember idea. my first line. I... I'm I'm 78 now, and I was I was 4, 13 then. Won't you join me? Was the first line. That's not today or yesterday. No, Tommy Clark really started oh, with Tommy, Tommy. in um, oh about 64, 1964. Did a couple of shows with him. Actually, did one of the Hugh Leonard. He's known as John Keysburn, Madigan's Lock. Totally, ne ne never heard of after that. But uh, did a few shows with him. Paul, a few Paul, Vincent Carroll. Gave it up. Got in with a, got in with the crowd. Flash McGann and the boys in the back room with the Queens. Returned to Tommy in '70 with the Hostage. A couple of Great a few day. shows with him, and then Stephen and myself started our own group in 19, oh, 79, I think, and from then on. It's been every. It's, I, it's hard to remember all the show. I mean, there's been many, many shows now. I mean, and you're still involved in it now. You're oh yeah, yeah. Just finished a, a reasonably successful one before Christmas, with with them um, actually with the Dolman. Um, all my sons. Wasn't all my sons. Fun? Arthur Miller is wonderful. All my son. And I like Miller. Favorite of mine is the Miller. reason why I asked you that. Is they're just listening on the radio coming in this morning, and it said thirty nine steps. Oh it's yes, on. yeah, it's yeah. On. It's, uh, yeah, that's it's that's an unusual week. production. It's it's from. Is it Buck and John? I forget now. Been filmed a few times. Right. Originally with. Um, Robert Dudan. Robert, yes, Robert, and Madeline uh, Carroll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and that. Did, mm -hmm. did, can, there's a Kenneth Moore version, and then there's a, a Powell version. Robert but, Powell. Robert Powell. That's yeah, right. the seventies. But the 70s. it's uh, this is a this is a show I saw. They took it. Uh, some group from the north about eight years ago. They were wonderful, an amateur group. <clears throat> it's all there are only two or three uh. people, and they do something like forty parts. Well, it's a farce, to. isn't it? Some, it's, it's, a yeah, it, it, they send it up. Yeah. Did Frame do it? Did he rewrite it? Did he? Michael Frey no, it's don't a, think I thought it was the same guy did no, noises off I'm not too sure but I went to see it in London about five years ago and the the production the northern production was every bit as good now. and tell me is Jerry Roddy still involved is he uh, Jerry's involved? helping I know it's right. Alton Alton it's Hodges Alton, yeah. is doing yeah. it this time yeah. Yeah. yeah we're looking at one uh, we, we wanted to do an inspector calls this year oh. an old chestnut but it's still a good one it's still a good one I tell you packs what, a punch I saw, I saw it on TV I went into YouTube and I got it. You'll get a good one on. You'll get, yeah, we'll the, get a good one on. Uh, and, K, what do you call your man? He used to play Rebus. Uh, Ken Stott. Yeah. Scott exactly. Berling. Yeah. 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 But it's, my son done it. Uh, he done the Inspector. He, was, he teaches over in Kent in England. Oh, right. And he was there. He done the uh, Inspector. The Inspector. Yeah. Inspector yeah. Ghoul. My mother was in that in the 50s. Yeah, with Tommy. Presumably it was a Tommy, Tommy Clark, Clark yeah. production. Yeah. 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 There's a famous Tom story Ghoul. told about that. Tommy was play, played Inspector Ghoul. And one night... Very early in, in the production, about five or ten minutes into the well, you know the story. Yeah, but yeah. In the inspector says to the group, to the people around the table, "Is there anything else you wish to say to me?" Mm. Now somebody is supposed to say something, mm. but they all looked at each other. No, it's not me. No, no, no. <laughs> Alvaro will understand. There's been a, no, not my line, not my line. So after a long pause, Tommy said, "Are you sure there isn't anything you wish to say to me?" 
Now, if somebody hadn't come up with the line and the inspector calls, it was the short, it'd be the shortest performance of all time because only 10 minutes had passed. Yeah. It was another hour and three quarters to go, oh, oh. but it would have ended. So Tommy goes to the door, opens to the door and says, for God's sake, are you sure there isn't anything? And then somebody... Ah, yes. <laughs> was there nobody in the wings throwing out lines? Oh, Tommy didn't. Tommy was, didn't <laughs> use nets, don't you? must be joking. Man of his uh, Come ability. Here, we were just showing myself and my sister were talking recently about uh, Yule Dugdale. Oh, we yes, have a family yeah, photograph yeah. in the house of my mother in Panto. Oh, that's right. Yeah. died very young, I believe. And then we got on talking about other uh, f- f- Flo Kieran. Remember Flo on the bicycle with the two big Alsatians? See, I one. never knew this one. These are just no, I, these I, just I people from my mind, from, from, from my head that I've heard of. Yeah. But how wonderful. And how, so then you get thinking. Well, she was in to pantomime only. Right. And what about now Molly Bonner, Stephen's aunt? Molly Bonner was with the Genetians. Right, okay. They used to have to sit, kneel down before every performance and say a prayer to St. Genetius, oh. who, for some reason, was the patron saint of theatre or drama so at least Molly told us <laughs> Molly was there yeah um, Molly well Stephen's still alive so I can't say anything about Molly <laughs> at least I but think he he, I he think he is himself. Himself. <laughs> but he wouldn't say himself yeah. oh, no, no. it was just these figures that had such an impression she on the did, she did she did you know, Molly couldn't know. disguise her northern accent so it was all Joe Tumulty plays like is the priest oh, yeah, at home yeah, and she yeah. was the, the housekeeper in the house and that you know mm-hmm. and uh, they did reasonably well but it, Genetians were Molly was with the Tommy Tynan was the director in those days actually the Genetians did the very first amateur production of The Field and I was in it Paddy Craven was the Ball McCabe I was the guy who came you know it's nothing like the movie mm. the play is quite different yeah, yeah. Um, I was the guy who came from England to buy The Field and I remember we went for I had seen the original production I was taken up with Molly, Ray McAnally. Mm. Oh, yeah, He yeah. was the definitive, you know, mm. been played by many people, Neil, Neil Toby, you know, but Ray Mac- I'll never forget McNally coming out onto the stage. Before he opened his mouth, hairs went up at the back of my neck. When he came in, we, he really had a great presence, mm. really a tremendous presence. So the murder scene was very graphic. In fact, it was almost too graphic for the critics in Dublin at the time. Now, this is the 60s. Would it be the 60s? Yeah, yeah, 60s. And um, we tried to emulate it. Paddy, um, you know, and I remember getting padding all over me and Paddy with the cudgel. He said, now, Leon, Paddy, it has to look really authentic. Oh, fine, at rehearsals. But the padding slipped the first line. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Method and after I you. Had, well, doctor had to be called. Had you? <laughs> doctor had to be called. He said, man, how? He said, I was out of breath hitting you that hard for authenticity. But you were always very popular, you see, with your fellow cast members. <laughs> I wonder, was, it, was, was that it? Was yeah. that it? It's my this, field. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing too much talk. So no, no, I just now, now, now when you're talking about that, is that, now I, I know nothing about theatre. I, well, I was in one in the hospital, if that helps. But uh, does that How'd mean... How'd you get done? That, does that mean... <laughs> Now, man, we were talking about <clears throat> the King and I. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Muriel Dunleavy, the wonderful, lovely, oh, lovely Muriel Dunleavy. Lovely, unfortunately, uh, was no playing longer Anna, with us. No yeah. longer with and was playing Anna. But for what, what I recall, and I think I, and I was there, it wasn't your last performance that day with Muriel. Uh, not with Muriel, no. <laughs> <laughs> there was an outdoor promenade performance. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it was a yeah, movie. Was, yeah. Yes, it was an actual movie. Yeah, anyway, to tell you. Was but, it well rehearsed? <laughs> no, it was totally impromptu and off the cuff. <laughs> no, she, um, poor Muriel, anyway, became quite ill and, and died. And anyway, her funeral was on a Monday. I remember it well. It was a bright, clear, sunny Monday morning. And she lived in Blackrock, where I happened to live as well. And uh, not too far away, she was round the corner. Anyway, I went round uh, to see the coffin coming out and to be to walk behind the hearse down to the church in Blackrock, which is not very far uh, for a funeral. I went round and uh, the rosary was going on inside and I've already expressed my delight in hearing the rosary. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, 
I was outside talking. I was talking. Do you know what I was talking? So to Father Hamill. Do you remember Tom? I Hamill? do. Oh, yeah. He was alive at the From time. Yeah. 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 And anyway, he was there, and we were talking outside. Few people around, few cars, and Patsy Rogers was doing doing the 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 the, the job. The removal. The removal. Anyway, Patsy comes out, and the coffin comes out, of course, and he opens up the back of the hearse and the coffin is put into the back of the hearse as I said where else would it be put and in she goes and he closes now I remember him distinctly closing the back of the hearse and his daughter was there she was driving the car and I said to Patsy we're walking round to the church aren't we Patsy oh no 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 it's cars 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 oh god I said and I hadn't even an overcoat and on the and I could see the the, the 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 you know the black cars for the for the family, yeah. but there were a number of other cars of mourners behind, and they were only sort of half empty. Only some some of them only had one in it mm-hmm. to drive for. Yeah. So he said five words to me, which I remember distinctly. He said, and this is important that you remember these words because <laughs> of what happened afterwards, and you don't think that I'm really insane, somewhat insane, but not too badly insane. Anyway, he said, do you want a lift? Five words. And I said, yes, thinking he was going to put me into one of the cars at the back of the yeah. black cars. Yeah. He reopens the back of the hearse and says, get in. Now he, pulls, he pulls down, <laughs> which I thought, which I never thought was in a, a little seat. <laughs> little wooden seat in between the hair, the place where the where the coffin is and the big big window off the hair, mm. rather narrow. Yeah. And I was a bit slimmer in those days, and <laughs> I, I I got in. But as I was getting in, I happened to look back at the first black car, and Muriel's husband was getting into the car. And he's looking at me in amazement. And something ran through my head. I don't know why. I said, does he think that I was having an affair with her? And I can't let her even be buried that I'm not in the hearse with her. Anyway, oh, I'm sitting. Fun. The door is closed. The back door is closed. And Patsy Rogers and his daughter gets into the car. She's doing the driving now. Patsy is in the front seat. There are only two seats mm. and my seat in the back, <laughs> which I thought never existed. <laughs> anyway, he takes off slowly, gracefully, as all hearses do. And the surreal thing about it is, <laughs> it was as if he was driving. Oh, I was in a taxi because he said, Ah, oh, Matt, how are you doing? Yeah, I remember your father and the old ridge. Yeah, in our days. Oh, yeah. Stopped in 90. What was it? 50. Was it 57? Yeah. And he's talking. And, and are you doing any plays? Now, he's not joking. This is for real, which made me think. She she was totally mute. Hmm. Mute. It Didn't say a word. She just drove. And I just went through my head, you're really only a number here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you really are only a number. A gold casket or a dun's bag, it's all the same. You're gone. You don't know anything about it. That's why I'm thinking of having my wake before I die. Oh, I think, what's your <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good idea. I hear all the good and the bad things said about you. Anyway. Well, the good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're off. And I'm squashed in between the large window on the hearse and the coffin. It's a bit of a Christopher Lee Hammerhearts of horrors <laughs> in some scene. Anyway, I'm there, I'm squashed in, very tight, and we go through the village, and there are a number of people naturally on the pavement. And I'm uh, looking at them, I have a very good view <laughs> of them, and they have a very good view of me, <laughs> and even better. And they're there, and you know the way people on there, they go to bless themselves, and it's, it's a sort of like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> and here I am at the window going waving to them in a sort of a queen or king like fashion for, yeah, everything's alright but Black Rock not be that's not the word Black Rock not being so very well paved the road's not great at the time it's a bit shaky the hearse you know and it jolted up and down a few times now the flowers, and there were quite a number of them because she was very popular, started to move off the coffin and go round my neck. <laughs> so I was at the window waving to the people. They were looking at me in horror with all these flowers. Well, not all of them, the but spoon. some of them around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> we continued through the village up the, and arrived at the church. And as you know, 
the church is on a gradient in Black Rock. It's fairly high. And be, be, again, and I, this is the third time I've said it, but it's true. She was tremendously popular. A lovely girl, Muriel. Lovely. Lovely. There were quite a crowd. It was hundreds of people I there. I was there. Now. I remember. Quite, quite a crowd. Each side, uh, the hairs went up in between them. Slowly and slowly, slowly. And there was I in <laughs> prominent position beside the coffin. Bedecked in flowers of various colours and shades. And waving, looking gorgeous. Wave, looking gorgeous. Never looked more gorgeous in my life. <laughs> I was waving out the window. And we arrived in front of the door into the church in Black Rock. Patsy got out after his conversation about the railway and what I was doing, what plays I was doing, and my father and various other things. No mention of Muriel now. And he got out and um, opened up the back and he let me out. <laughs> and as I was getting out, I heard an old wag voice saying, ah, Jesus Murphy, you do anything for publicity. That's the first time you're up. You have even upstaged deck. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the ultimate of staging, wasn't it? The ultimate. So anyway, I was in, well, in, and the only other thing, and I'll, I know I'm talking too much, too much, was my brother Jared out in Ravensdale again. As I said, he he thought he he could be pope, but they, they decided not to give him the the, the the privilege. And but he ended up sacristan out in Ravensdale, and um, there was a funeral out there, and it was quite a large one. Bit tragedy, and he he was there, and he, he you know at the end of the funeral when the priest has says his whatever he has to say, and there's a silence, and not nobody moves, until somebody moves and they go up and they mm -hmm. offer their condolences mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the people, and he wants to offer his condolences to the girl's father, so he strides up before anybody else. Now, everybody's watching the scene. You can imagine it. He strides up and he puts his hand out to shake the hand of the bereaved girl's father and he disappears. <laughs> Just literally disappears. <laughs> the man put his hand out to greet him. But one minute, one second, the hand was there and the next second, the hand wasn't there. Disappearing act. Now, my brother Patsy wasn't there at the time. So he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. He it was, the magic wasn't coming from him. <laughs> 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 but what could be heard in the dreaded silence was a crack. Oh, a crack. What happened was oh. there was an open grave beside the grave, and somebody had put grass, artificial grass, artificial. and and a few boards. pieces of boards of yeah. stick over. Jared stepped in the middle of this and disappeared <laughs> down into the grave. Now. <laughs> And not only did he disappear into the grave, his legs caught into the art artificial grass. And on the artificial grass, quite a number of, of wreaths and things. So he's down in this grave, open grave, with the artificial grass beside him and the wreaths hopping off his head. <laughs> This is a real Laurel and Hardy stroke now, you know. This this could not. So he sort of upstage. He, he sort of up. And anyway, there was now really. It just goes to show you the, 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 the this thin line between tragedy and comedy. Yes. Because one minute they were naturally in tears over the the tragedy of the young girl. Next minute, some people were lying across gravestones, <laughs> laughing their heads off. Next, there was a. Help. <laughs> Help! <laughs> from down in the grave. You see, you're six foot down. You're not supposed. Well, maybe Dracula comes up, but you're supposed to stay down. Anybody who goes down there is supposed to stay down there. But Murphy wanted to come up. So he. <laughs> So hands were proffered down and he was pulled up. And again, there's always an old wag. It's like me with him. <laughs> Murphy, <laughs> it took Jesus Christ three days to come back. You come up into him and feel like this. <laughs> so he, he, he has to beat a hasty retreat now, somewhat embarrassed. So that's what happened. Brilliant. But again, that's it's, it's it, those are the two graveyard <laughs> gra gra graveyard tales. And you couldn't write that. You couldn't, you know, couldn't write that. You couldn't write that. Like no. that. Oh my god! But but I'm sure it, it happens all the time. But it was the and don't get me wrong. I'm not running down Patsy Rogers. It was the surreal in all the f the, the the things of me waving and flowers. Mm. 
He was talking it to was me. It was a job. It, it was a job. It could be the different way. It's, it's professionalism. It as you said, you know, the professionalism attached to yes. the bereavement. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, yeah. I'm yeah. not, I'm not at all. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. he just chatted to me. He knew me. Hadn't seen me in ages. Knew my father from the railway, obviously, mm. years before. Mm. Railway, I think, closed in 57. And... Um, he, he wanted to know Daddy was dead He says he was, he was saying I knew your dad Oh Matt oh, oh, oh. He was mad too Because yeah. I, uh, 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 I used to get My Muffy My <laughs> Or Matt you Because yeah. daddy was mad I didn't yeah. get mad Until daddy died You know oh, what I mean Oh like Charles and Her Majesty You didn't get the title No I didn't right. No It's like <laughs> It wasn't passed on No it wasn't No, Sure Agnes Trainer, You know Agnes I do indeed I was coming down you know, I See Agnes is one of the last of the old neighbours. Now, I'm talking about neighbours 50 years. I'm just talking about neighbours like... There was a time I could stand at McManus's corner and look down Mary Street. I was born and reared in Mary where, Street. Where was your house? The third house on the right-hand side. There's, there are three, uh, two storeys, and then the small ones. Yes, yes right. We were 52 Mary Street North. We were all born and reared there. And um, there was no hospitals. And though, a, a nurse a nurse house in came around, or district mm. nurses. District and, nurse, yeah. A district nurse. Anyway, I could stand and look down and see the Marist Wall. Now, I didn't know everybody, but I could... 85%. Mm. There's only one left. Noel McCormick is the only one left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, I, I was coming... Uh, that's Mary Street, but in Seatown, Agnes Trainer is one of the last of the old neighbours. There's a few of the McEnanies there, but Agnes would be one of the ones a long time there. Mm. Mm. And... Um, I was coming down the street and Agnes was at the door and maybe I told you this. I, Go on, tell me again. I, I'm sure I, I Agnes was nice. Bored listening to the, these stories. But um, she was at the door, you know, the, and I could see her and I knew there was a crack coming. I knew there was a crack. Mm -hmm. So I'd give a bit of the more of the John Travolta staying alive, you know, <laughs> that, you know, and the more of the swagger. And uh, she said, hey, hey, you boy. Hey, come here, you boy. Now, when you hear that, you know it's coming. Yeah. Hey, come here, you boy. My Murphy. Mm, uh, yeah. And I said, you know, feigning... Uh, Yes, Agnes, you, did you want me? Yeah, I do want you. Mm. And she looks me up and down and she sniffs before she does anything, of course. I say, That's very important. You know? She says, you know what, boy? You know what? Jesus, she said, if you were a bar of chocolate, Jesus, you'd eat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Agnes, <laughs> Agnes, can I tell that to every? You can tell anybody about them will like. <laughs> and it's true. And, and she comes into me every week to have the hair done, and she I always is. tell that story. Well, Kitty, Kitty, Kitty's there. Kitty oh, Kitty's there a long time. But yeah. no, she is. She is the one of the last. Of the She's one of the last. Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. ninety last birth. I was told you. Was oh, she? Yeah, ninety. Yeah. And yeah, I asked her the yeah. grip and the stuff. Grip and the stuff, yeah. Great, great There's, now, she well. actually was reared down where the main the shed is. Yeah. There was, a, there was a thatch. I have a photograph of Sea Town with all thatch cottages. All thatch Well, houses. I think where the main shed and is now. Board, yeah, but, but that was the lane. There was, the road down to Sea Town, Mary, up to, down to the Happy Valley, was actually not there. There was no road. There was houses right across. Right across, yeah. Right across. And you came in through... Uh, St. Bridget's Terrace from Castle Castletown, Castle Road, yeah. or indeed Mary Street North. Mm. But there was a, a dog leg laneway was there? that came by St. John of God's or the Mansion, yeah. whatever it's called now. Mm. Mm. And they had all, but they had all, I noticed of the old photograph, every house outside now, underneath the thatch, mm -hmm. a canary cage. Wonder what it was for. They were very pop. Boards outside doors are very popular. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Was it good luck thing or was it? Don't a, I, no, would, no, would it be? Just, would, it, would, would it be a gas? Th no, it no. It was no, a no, long, it was an uncle of ours. Yeah, that done it. And, and, you, yeah, yeah. The, the finches and all this. Yeah, right. and they would put them outside. Yeah. It's because you had them in a big shed. All right, they hung right, them outside yeah, yeah. for fresh air. And you see, Castle Road. Uh, wasn't always oh, Castle Road. That's not it. It's it's the last, as you know. It's the only, it's the bell tower of the of the monastery. There was no castles there. That's at all. No, that was the Castle the, Road was Priory Road originally. Oh, really? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it was built oh. upon. Yeah, because I, my grandmother came to see town with Paddy Murphy, whose photograph is in, he was one of the first guys to start amateur drama in the town. He's, he's in the town hall. He's in the town hall. Yeah, he's up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they came... Is that that's your grandfather? That's my grandfather. I nice. have him in beautiful... He specialised in... Costume uh, drama. Uh, yeah, and in, in villains like Rearsby the Rat from the Bells and all these, you know, these old... Uh, these so I think we're in a tri-corner hat in that outfit. And the, yeah, yeah, I know the one. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have lovely photographs and fabulous ones. He left behind 
swords and things. I don't know where they are now, but I remember. Was there no steeple in, in, the, in, in Castle Road now? No, no, oh, maybe no. That, no. Uh, maybe that little rhyme came from one time. You know, but Castle Road is a lonely road. There's neither church nor steeple, but there's a son of a whore in every door watching things. <laughs> <and people. laughs> I never heard that one. Oh, that's a great one. I must tell Agnes it like that. More Strad. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's based around Seatown, that yeah. old Irish. You see, it's the oldest part of Dundalk, mm. Seatown. The oldest, it, it really is. And um, well, well, It was a monastery, wasn't it? It was a monastery. Yeah, it was a monastery. Yeah, it was a monastery. Yeah, it was a monastery. But um, the. Um, oh, yeah, very, very old. And um, mm. my grandmother, I, she came. She came to see town. Do you know the three red bricked houses beside the the garage there? Kettles. Yeah. Kettle owns yeah, them. Do. Well, yeah, Mills, yeah. Was Joe, yeah. Where Joe lived. No, come up from, yeah, come mm. up from that. Mm. Oh, right, okay. There yeah. are three red brick yeah, houses yes. facing McManus's. Yes. Well, Granny Murphy was in this, the one nearest. Beside the, Kettles. Beside Kettles, yeah. Right. And uh, she came as a, a young married woman with Patrick Murphy in 1890. Seven. Oh, where were they from? They, well, where was Murphy from? He was from uh, Your grandfather. up in uh, Park Street. And the strange thing about him was, I never understood why Daddy, my father, had no cousins. None at all. Mammy loads. But mm. Daddy, none. And I found out many, many years later, he was, there was only two in the family, but Bob and Matt to Patrick Murphy and Elizabeth Shields, my grandmother. Granny lived... Patrick Murphy died in 1910 of throat cancer. Your father, your grandfather? Grandfather, yeah. They were only 13 years right. together. Okay. She lived on to my birthday, 1956. And um, remember, 1910, two years before the Titanic went yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, when you think about it that way. Yeah, she lived on, but... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, she. Re I remember her telling me she remembered Castle Road being built, the houses. Mm. The 1900, 19 yeah. yeah, and the sea that the, the water came up to there. You know McDermott's house facing St Helena Park. I do. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the customs house. Yeah. house. That's one of the oldest houses in Dog. It is. Yeah. Mm. The, so so the walls are. Yeah. Joe. Joe Mills. Joe, Joe Mills was a uh, Joe. Great stories. Oh, great stories. Joe, stories yeah. His grandmother was from there, and Joe died yeah. in ninety. Yeah. And he he remembers when his grandmother would tell him stories. Oh, yeah. The valley where I live was built, I think, in nineteen oh three or nineteen oh eight. Yeah. Was a sandpit. Oh, that's yeah. that was the sand, yeah. mm, and yeah. nothing was there. The no. Morris rugby pitch wasn't built. No, no. Sea Town was on islets. It, it was, was it, yeah. flooding marshland. Yeah, and the monasteries were actually built on solid ground. Yeah, and everything else around it was. That's why Santa Lena Park, Santa Lena, yeah. Napoleon died. Uh, the uh, island, yes, Santa yeah, Lena. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. that's what they. No, I never, the I never know that. Did I not see you with him just be, uh, before the Battle of Waterloo? Not tonight, just <laughs> the <laughs> But I oh, know it's 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 very very old, and um, oh my! Do you remember the the English soldiers being buried there in Saint Leonard's Garden? Do you remember the gun carriages coming? Well, up? do you remember when the Kettle's house beside Saint Leonard's Gardens and Barney was it was a Barney? Yeah, Barney Kettle was a Barney Kettle. No, no. What was his name? Oh, Kevin. 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 Kevin yeah. And they built. They, they built the trench so we can get into the garden the side. That's right. That's right. And there was there was a bit of difficulty about that. One because they said, you know, it's 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 you know, graveyard. Oh, yeah. But more importantly, it was a plague graveyard and they were feared yeah. that contamination yeah. might still yeah. be there. Yeah. 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 But I remember that the time I remember going that. to the I, I had uh, the advantage of a um, um, a non classical education in the Christian Brothers. Christian the Christian uh, dubious claim to fame that word before brothers. Anyway, however. <laughs> um I remember very young going to school but with <laughs> great difficulty. Um and they were digging up to lay pipes. And they did come across bones with leather sandals on them and things oh. like the feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was a large, mm. large monastery. Mm -hmm. that the, the tower the is the hospital. only thing. Oh, yeah. This was the hospital. Yeah, that's right. And they were the white fires, I think. Yeah. And then Bertrand de Verden opened mm. where the tower is. Isn't that yeah, that monastery there? Like you're talking about... 1100s. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I mean, the dog yeah, was, didn't exist, mm. really. No. And do you know Boyle's shop? Yeah, well, it was ball shop. Yeah. It's not ball shop anymore. Yeah. The Delft shop. That that was with the square was there. What well, that's that's the original square, and there was a wooden building there. It was the jail way back in the 15th century, and Oliver Plunkett, when he was being taken from our man mm -hmm. to be finally executed 
in London. That yeah, was a stopover. Stopover, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a cell underneath in the cellar. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. amazing. Apparently. Is that in the town hall? Yeah, so yeah. The, no, 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 no. No, no. The no, Morgan no. Master's house is where Donald's Drapers is now beside the Green yeah. Church. Yeah. And the town square was there. And the and the, the new Carroll's village that was modelled on the Cox's red brick villa yeah, was underneath. Dundalk House. Yeah. yeah. That was the centre of Dundalk. Oh, was that? Yeah. Blind Gate and then Bridge Street yeah. and mm. uh, Bridge Street. The, the, the present square is, is quite south. modern. Mm. The Maid of Erin statue never finished, couldn't get the money for it. Actually, behind you there, you'll see there's a there photograph there. there. And I think, she was erected I think those pillars, the front of the courthouse, was, was uh, modelled on the uh, Parthian in, 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 mm -hmm. in Greece. Greece yeah. Yeah. Mm. But isn't there, a, the, where you were saying O'Connell's, there is a, a thing underneath, isn't that, to go across to Carol? There, there is rumour that. Yeah. If you, well, the, if you go down to the gallery yeah. in, the, in the existing on yeah. town or town, whatever it's called yeah. town hall, um, that that basement precedes the the, the the building up above it. That was rebuilt, I think, it went on fire in forty seven. That's in, right, yeah, in fifty two. Yeah, but they're old. They're well. See, old. the church was originally a Catholic church. Yeah, there was a Nicholas you know church. Yeah. yeah, and at the side of the Catholic church, St. Nicholas was a. A mill, a linen mill. No, the linen yeah, hall. No, the linen yeah. hall, the linen hall was, was, was the out in the middle of what's... The island is now. The island is mm. there, yeah. Is it not? Just, just but, behind it is... is, is but the, was the, I, think, I think there was a mill at the side of... There was a mill. There was a, 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 there was a merchant hall, a linen yeah. hall. Yeah, so yeah. There was a custom size... That's why it's called Linen Hall Street. And then mm. there was the linen hall that literally when he went up towards Bridge Street and Linen Hall yeah, Street, it was, Linen Hall was sat there. Yeah, mm. that's right. right. It was not Actually, there are photographs. There are several photographs. But the linen mill was down Mary Street. Mary Street, is that right? Maybe there was, a, that there was a lin ah, that's no, that, was, that was a handkerchief factory. Handkerchief factory. No, I tell you, I, was I, 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 well, I walked in that, and, I walked, and you mentioned a lady Where there. Where the ABC uh, was. What? Round by the ABC. Well, ABC yeah. is now. Well, you mentioned a lady uh, earlier on there at the Saturday show, uh, uh, Yule Dugdale. Yes. And she walked in there in the office. Did she? Because I walked there when You died very young, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, she died very, very young. She walked in the office there. Have a she was run. one of the original... Uh, singers with the, with the musical society, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she did. Lived in in Mulholland Avenue. Mulholland, would I be oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. She has. Wait now. She has a sister, Mary. Mary, very friendly with the late Joe Martin. Yeah. You see yeah. the show yeah, with Joe, Joe Martin. Martin. Joe Martin. Mary Wallace. Mary Wallace. Well, Wallace that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's right, yeah. Is she yeah. still living in Mary Street or in Mulholland Avenue? I don't know. No, no, no. no. Don't know. No, no. Who? Mary Wallace. Yeah. Mary Wallace is up in Pierce, beside Pierce Park. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, just on them. I never knew. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I never knew. I never knew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, I think uh, we've come to the end. What that was a, a, a so fascinating story, Matt. So much fun. Uh, but really, no, no, what I, a way to I, spend As usual, it. I, I didn't speak enough, you know. <laughs> but it is, I've mean, always, always found your company, it's exhausting yeah. <laughs> trying to get anything out of yeah. you. Yeah. What a way to spend a wet Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it did I yeah, yeah, bullshit very, too There were some right. great stories there. You enjoyed that, but. <laughs> but... But just before, we did, when you were doing a part, did you research your part? Oh, I always do. I always do. Yeah, I always do. <laughs> The trouble is it can be a disadvantage too because you want to be careful that you don't try to ape somebody like David Suchet or yeah. Lee J. Cobb or so. You know, you have to... You, you, know, you have you'll to get, make you, it your oh, own. You can, you, the, nobody is completely original. Most singers, Bublé will probably say that he, he, he got his influence by Massively. Sinatra and Massively. Bennett. Nobody is. But um, you can just be careful because you can't be them. You're not no. them. Well, that's what I say. I modeled myself get on, singer on Hilda Baker. But <laughs> yeah. effectively. I thought it was Robert Redford. No, me. Hilda Baker, <laughs> darling. No, 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 it was Robert Redford. <laughs> <laughs> the re you know, know Hilda Baker. I think she knows they, you know. Oh, she, oh, she knows you. She wanted a hysterical rap to me. Oh, she knows yeah. me, you know. I, still I watch, mentioned, I mentioned, I still mentioned watch her. I'm sorry, yeah. I imagine yeah. YouTube yeah, and watch the film. I just love this guy, uh, Charles Lawton. Oh, yeah. he was in the film called The Suspect. I watched it the other night. Yeah, it's very, know. very good. Oh, My favorite Charles Lawton. Yeah. I love it. Jamaica in with more. This is massively over the top. Did you ever see him love in the Turtles of Tahiti? Yes, <laughs> very good. <laughs> well, all I remember but I love is uh, Jamaica. Love is all I remember is, is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the only one I remember. Did you know who? Yeah. If you get it up. You'll get great. It was actually I was watching a documentary. The wife, what do you call it? Elsa Lanchester, was on a uh, interviewed in all oh, way back in the eighties. Uh, but if you're Frankenstein, 
Yeah, Simon Callow has written two mm, very mm-hmm. good books on, mm. on Lawton. But um, you may not be interested. They're, they're quite technically a bit... But um, go into YouTube and get Peter Ustinov on Lawton. Oh, and he can produce a tremendous mimic he can do, really. Yeah. And he can take lot, you know, the big... He uh, was a very sensitive yeah. sort of guy. Witness for the prosecution. <gasps> that comes to mind. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was now, can I just public. do this very quickly? Because I remember seeing it one... I remember seeing it on TV, the yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, and they had run the strap at the end where the voiceover comes in. Patrons of the first says, please... Please don't tell. You. Don't tell. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And there was a car. We, did, we talked about recently. <laughs> Butler Brian and Dundalk. Butler Brian yeah, and Dundalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was my aunt's through Marge's uncle. Yeah. So at her sister's funeral, I said to Tommy Brown, I said, Tommy, now that I have you here, Butler Brown, your uncle, how did he get the name? Was he in service? Not at all. He came out of the Adelphia, or one of them, on the first house of some thriller. Yeah. Went along the second house queue and said, the butler did it. I just love that. Oh. <laughs> By the way, just before, does anybody remember um, that he used to be outside the Adelphi with the, with the, the green coat? Will the he? cowboard lover. No. That was him, was it? No, the no, 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 no. The concierge. The, yes, the concierge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, you know, that was Joe. No. There was that James Wynn. No, no, come on, now we know no. this guy. Big tall fella. Uh, English. Yes, Willie yeah, English. Uh, Willie English. English. Yes. Willie yes. English. Yes. Yeah. And I used to get when I'd I don't be going, remember that. Oh yeah, I just no, remember the before talkies. You, I'd be I'd be sad, I'd go to the matinee. There was a matinee at three o'clock yeah. uh, in every on Sunday Saturday and Sunday. And uh, there was the four pennies, the eight pennies, and the ten pennies. Now ten pennies was the balcony. So I would my father said, Now you keep out of the four pennies. <laughs> That's the pit, stay away from that. <laughs> so he wouldn't he wouldn't spoil me with a ten penny. Uh, but he he would give me the entrance. See, that's the true essence of middle class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and, and, but I would, of course, needless to say, buy the fourpenny ticket, and I had fourpence for the sweets. Yeah. And then when the lights would man, it was always Mantovani, the Skedrish Wallace, yeah, yeah. played in the Adelphi with the big, big. You remember the big curtains? Yeah, yeah. The lights would come down, and the magic would begin. Of course, but I'd hop over that rope into the Epenies. Now, if Willie English caught you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, oh. he would kick you. Yeah, he was a big man. Yeah. He I, would. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't run home to mammy. No. Yeah. There'd be no. Sir- oh, my mum was an usher at Delphi. I remember it well. And and Terry Mack, the late Terry Mack, and from Bachelors Walk. That's was an right, Terry. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and you daren't if she knew you daren't go in there with a with a fella. Oh no. And any can Do, yeah. Because you see, the there was, there was a curtain seat. Do you remember the curtain? You don't remember. No. There was a seat in the corner. A double lamp. Double, double seat. seat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Double, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There was only one on Father each side. Campbell didn't approve. Of oh no no. And I remember out. Terry Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding. I remember Terry Grimes saying, "Come out of there, you dirty devil, you madam of Yalta, you nanny." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your hands. Get your hands off that. You're not yeah yeah yeah. I, I remember a scene we're talking about Bill English or Willie We're still Bill. on air, are we? But I remember we are, in, I remember in the, the longest one yet. St. Nicholas's <laughs> Hall. Oh, yeah. And uh, St. Nicholas's Hall was the same. Four pins. Four I'm, pins. I'm one and one nine at night. Yeah. And uh, they used to, Shamey McDonald was the usher. I remember you know, him remember and he used to shout at Shamey. Shamey had a... Had a yeah, yeah. Uh, had a, he had a crocodile. Crocodile. Yeah, yeah. You know. the one side, and apparently. He, he used to shout at... <laughs> Lawrence Olivier, ma- 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 for Richard III. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, there was this guy was sitting... He was he, his, his, this guy was sitting and he shouted. <laughs> Go on. Shamey was a crocodile. Oh. And Shamey walks down and points the light Torch. at him and says, out. Was it me, Shamey? Out, he says, was it me? And he shouted, Bill, put on the lights. He was the only one at the fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's right. And Park Street. Yeah. Before. You had to lift, you, you spent the entire movie with your feet like that. Why? Because of the boys and the Eppins would be pissing and it would <laughs> 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 I, th- I think on that note oh, oh no, yeah. very quick I think we were before our Teddy I remember it well he said the night Park Street born down the flame of Arabia <laughs> was <laughs> playing <It> was play- <laughs> that's right <laughs> Oh yeah, it was more funny. Or it was actually yeah, 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 playing yeah. when it burned down. It's my, it's all one of my, perhaps one of the greatest movies ever made. And this now, I'm going by right, right back to the beginning. I saw it for the first time, and it changed. He changed my life. 
on the water. Oh, no, I think it's everywhere. I every, knew you want to say that. Yeah. Yeah, Brando. Was that what you yeah, like, like, mm. You no, were on the water front. I know. I, but, <laughs> no, I was, no, I had, I had, I was at the Ippenies at that stage. <laughs> but, oh, it, yeah. but it, but Dolce, I remember, I can still see it, and before I said, or before the long walk, I remember being on Cynical's Avenue and getting troubles to go and see help the Beatles oh, yeah, on my own. really on my own yeah, yeah, and yeah. I remember it was raining that night and the I was going up oh, it, 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 well the hardiest <laughs> night was first wasn't yeah it? it was first but this one I was a mad fan of the Beatles oh yeah but I remember going to the cinema paying the trumpets in and sitting and all was full of couples and everything and you see when the heat came on all you could see was steam coming out of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From and the, the smell of dampness yeah. of me was unbelievable. I always but, remember it. But I walked through that where the long walk is from Seneca's Avenue. Yeah. Where, where, where was the plane? It was in the Adelphi. It was the Adelphi. And the Adelphi. coming up McSweeney Street when it was only a few feet wide. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You know. So how did they have the foresters? The Adelphi. Well, the Adelphi was a fixed one, right? Oh, no, no, the Magnus. The Magnus. The Magnus. Yeah. But the Magnus. But the Adelphi was purpose built, was it not? Well, it was, yeah. But and I the Magnus at the back the was built yeah, on the Capitol. Yeah. And I remember yeah. the, the, the Magnus was closed for a while until they got the Cinemascope screen in. Yeah. And the very right. first Cinemascope movie was The Robe. Oh, oh, yes, I don't he truly really was the yeah. son of God. Yeah, Victor yeah. Mature, wasn't it? And, the, and Vic, then Victor Mature, no, as 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 used enough, as used enough, Victor Mature. Mature. Oh, yeah. Mature. Yeah. And then there was <laughs> when the magnet closed down. The Adelphi was open, oh, and yeah. all the fleas left. And yeah, mm-hmm. there were no uh, fleas in the Adelphi. Was no, up a no, no, Funny they, enough, I was. I remember watching <laughs> Elf, yeah. and the the trailer. They used to show trailers yeah. coming for. Yeah. Do you remember the Lawrence of Arabia? Do you remember those stills? Go on, tell me about Lawrence of Arabia. No, I mean, that was just the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Was that, like, O'Toole was that good looking. And he was oh, so uh, good looking. Oh, famous one. Yeah, Florence of Arabia. <laughs> no <laughs> card said that. <laughs> yeah, no card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, so, no, yeah, no card, yeah. Was. Lawrence was that, you, But yeah, I know what you were talking about in the frame remember? outside. I remember. I'd love to know where all those was stills still went. There was two remember things. Oh, still. yes. Yeah. What did they go back? Did they go back with the reels, I wonder? No, but yeah. they, they were as the fellas. They were they were murals on the side. Murials. Sorry, <laughs> on the side. There was yeah. one of a, of a, an Arabian or a desert scene, on to the right, and they were lit up. There was two or three each yeah. side. Where? There was where in, in, the, the, cinema. Cinema. in the cinema. Well, I'm talking about outside. Ah, uh, no, box no, office. Like the stills of the movie. Yes, and the no, no, you, know, you the don't cinema. remember the original big cinema before it was. I do. Ah, you don't. You before it was split. Yes, I remember the balcony. Do you? Absolutely, yes. Mm. There uh, you go. Hey, and I remember when in the Adelphi, when they used to put the name of the movie in letters. Do you remember? Yes, along, along this along thing. the yeah. front, yeah. yeah. And there was a lads, there, was, there were things outside for public. And that's like a glass yeah. case. Glass yeah. case. Yeah. The yeah. stills, stills, yeah, in a stills. silver frame lit. Yeah, yeah. There were about five or six of them. Did we worth some money? Now? And and imagine, imagine, yeah, we, we were imagine. talking. We were talking about uh, Jamie McDonald and the cynicals as hall his brother run the magnet Paddy McDonald that's right yeah that is correct Sorry. but that, that's right Olivia so he, he was inspired he was Olivia <laughs> Come here, come here. Yeah, and then, you. But do you remember they used to the, the, the thing with the old big lads with the with the thing down onto the and the, the lads have put their hands yeah, that's up. That's very descriptive. What are you saying? Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying there. It's it was the 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 camera. The camera the, oh, with, yeah, with the, the projection yeah. camera. Well, and you see we, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I used to throw paper Yeah, off yeah, that's right. Yeah. But listen, we, we have to we have oh, to we have to go. And I I think we'd have to get a part to here. Yeah. <laughs> This might actually go out in two parts. It probably have to. This is uh, Matt. I want to thank you for coming. Oh, you're yeah, very welcome. Really I, I, I know. Stories. I mean, I, as, as usual, I mean, it's, it's great. It's great, it's great to, to hear. Rattled on far too much. That's, that's, why, you, not, that's why you're here. Not, we took not, a break. Yeah. You should have brought in sandwiches. <laughs> you probably, <laughs> you probably, everything. You probably <laughs> noticed the camera was only a Matt there for about two hours. We were out to home. <laughs> we had our dinner and we were back. Well, listen, I want I want to thank you. I enjoyed it immensely. No, it's great. I really fun. enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoy that group. But there again, now that I'm getting young, you know, <laughs> yes. these stories are very important. Well, how would you get a chance to talk like this? Would I don't know. know. I went into the, the, would you ever ring K and tell her to bring the medication? Yeah. 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 I went into the post office. for They wouldn't give me my old age pension. 
I was refused <laughs> an old age pension. He's the only person needs ID to. I had to up. take a young age pension. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. From the Salvation and, Show uh, yeah. and Matt Murphy. Until we meet again. Bye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Not at all. Thank you. So that was terrific.